Alright, welcome back to another Crash Team Rumble video. Today we are doing something very exciting. We are checking out Season 2 of this game. The moment of recording, it just launched like a day ago. Um, I have played a little bit of it, but I haven't really checked out everything. Um, I've just played the new party mode, um, which is pretty fun. I'm, I'm definitely gonna make a separate video on that mode. But other than that, I haven't really checked out anything, so we are going to check it out right here in this video. We're just gonna jump straight into it, and I always forget this, that you have to wait two minutes to just enter the menu screen. You have to wait two minutes to jump into the game. Why is this still a thing? It's absolutely ridiculous. Alright, we're finally in the menus, and as you see, we have a whole different background. Not the usual um, blue background, the boring, plain blue background that we were used to in Season 1, but we finally have something different to look at. Of course, it's still a, like an image, nothing's moving around, which is kind of disappointing, but uh, it's one of the uh, new modes uh, in the party mode as well. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's cool that we have a different background, but it's still just not moving and it's, it's not three-dimensional. It's I expected just a little bit more from it, but it's already looking a little bit better. Before we jump into everything here, I want to show you guys the roadmap that Toys for Bob shared over on Twitter. Here you have it. Um, it's We got a new hero, Ripto. It looks like he's gonna be a booster character, Ripto is just the main villain of the Spyro universe, of the Spyro games, and I really, really hope we see Spyro added into this game as well. But Ripto, very excited to try him out. Now, he's not in the game yet, he's gonna drip in later over the season, maybe in a couple of weeks. Um, so that's something to look forward to. We also have a new party mode, it's a four-player co-op mode with five different game modes in there. Uh, with speedrun, get lit, what's cooking, dig it, and bounce balloons. Uh, we have a new power coming, the minefield. Now, I've seen some gameplay, and it looks absolutely OP if you drop it on like boost zones, like zone A, B, and C. Uh, you can just drop it there, and people just get knocked back, and it's it's really easy to um, uh, to capture boost zones. Uh, we also have two new maps, Jazz Junction and Waste Deep. Very cool. And then a rotation of 10 limited time modes, including a 3v3 mode, Zap Trap, and Wamparama. But there's seven other modes as well, just on rotation. So there's always going to be a limited time mode. Very cool, man. I'm super excited for that. And then we also have a, uh, another Battle Pass seasonal event. So we will most likely see like a Halloween themed event. And then XP boost weekends uh, with double hero XP as well. Anyway, let's just check it out. Uh, here there's a event that you need to play the party mode uh, to get XP. And at the end um, of the event here, of the kind of challenge, is a very cool new legendary skin for Crash. It looks absolutely amazing. And if you defeat any boss in the party mode, you get the same skin for Coco. It's just Balloon Crash and Balloon Coco. It's, I, those are skins I really, really want. Uh, in this game, so I'm gonna work uh, towards unlocking those. Uh, you got the weekly expeditions, just some extra XP you can gain, um, and then here we have it, the new party mode. It doesn't look like it's limited, it's most likely gonna be for the full season. Um, it's a four-player cooperative fun against the clock, so you work with your team against the time. And then at the end of all the waves there is a boss fight or a boss uh, wave as well. It's pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna make a video just playing that game mode um, But for now, we'll just check everything else Sadly enough, Ripto is not added to the game yet um, And the minefield has not been added to the game either. So Yeah, I, I haven't really checked out the battle pass. So th this will be the first time checking it out uh, once again uh, I am not really interested in any of this stuff more uh, the skins uh, is what I'm actually looking for. Cra crash coins. What's freaking crash? Is, is there gonna be an online store or something? Crash coins. Oh, it, it looks like you use the crash coins to p 
purchase the battle pass, which is most likely gonna be about 10 euros, something like that. Uh, but if you play the game enough, I think you will get enough back, enough crash coins back, to buy the new battle pass for free. So if you, you know, play the game a lot, you can get all the upcoming, um, upcoming battle passes or just cosmetic items for absolutely free, for just paying 10 euros once in this game, which is very, very cool to see. We got a skin for Coco, very nice. Uh, we got a skin for Dingo, <laughs> another skin for Dingo Dial, man. I already have like three skins for Dingo Dial. Absolutely insane. Uh, there's an emote for engine. Very cool. Uh, a skin for Crash. Very nice. Uh, all the other stuff I'm not really too interested in. Uh, I'm the type of person that doesn't use backpacks or headgear. Just use the standard um, character with just a skin added as well. Skin for Tona. I'm not really too big of a fan of that. And then... Oh my god! Oh my god, I almost choked, man. That's a that's an insane skin for Cortex, man. Cortex with hair. <laughs> We've never seen Cortex with hair, have we? He just has th that little bit of hair on his head, but not like a full head of hair, bro. That's insane. That's a very cool skin. Amazing. Uh, and then we have a skin for a female Entropy. Very nice. Uh, we have a skin for Embryo. <laughs> Okay, this one's pretty cool as well. It actually fits the character pretty nicely too. Just an angry, angry clown. Um, I'm also very interested in like the the music. I really like the CTR themed uh, music as well. Um, we got a skin for Engine. Th that is the level 90 skin. Just this skin for Engine. Doesn't even look that good in my opinion. My god. And then we got an emote for Cortex. Okay, that's actually pretty cool as well. <laughs> that's very nice. We got we got a confetti. Um jam boost. Alright, very nice. And then the level 100 skin is a Halloween themed skin for Ripperu, and it's also like Asian themed, I think. Pretty cool though. Pretty cool skin, a little bit underwhelming for the level 100 skin in my opinion. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna play the game as normal because... You see, you need the battle pass, you need the premium battle pass, that you need to pay the 10 euros to unlock all these things. And then you get one free item every 10 levels or something. Uh, maybe two every 10 levels. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play the game and see how far I get into the battle pass and then decide to purchase it or not. Um, just to, you know, make sure I get what I pay for. Um, if I stop playing the game in like a few weeks, which I I'm not too sure is gonna happen. Maybe I get bored, maybe maybe not. Um, but then I just wasted 10 euros because I, I, yeah, I just progressed till a level 20 in the battle pass or something. Alright, and I think that's gonna be it. Uh, what I really want to see is like a stat tracker in this game as well. Uh, so far it doesn't really matter if you win or lose or uh, get top performer or anything. Those stats do, do not count. That, that There's no tracker anywhere, uh, which I really want to see added into the game as well. Anyway, what do you guys think about Season 2 in this game? Let me know down below in the comment section, have you already stopped playing the game? That I've heard many of my subscribers stop playing the game because it was getting too repetitive, too boring, but maybe Season 2 gives you an incentive to start playing the game again. Maybe. Maybe not. Let me know down below in the comment section. I will end the video right here though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like if you want to see more. Then subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.